What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back at it with another Anthem video. Like I said people, as soon as any info or anything Anthem related drops, I will have you covered here on my channel. Now the following info was put forth to me by my pal Mida Life Crisis who is also planning on covering every speck of info there is on Anthem. So you should definitely go and check him out and show him some loving. His channel can be found linked within the video description. So the image we were about to check out was taken from a recent Anthem milestone review and the image was taken by Alan Baxter who is the Bioware production guy who has a passion for video games according to his Twitter. This what we were about to see was actually taken I believe as a tease on behalf of Bioware into the world of Anthem because we can't really make out exactly what it is but there's enough here to definitely get us interested. Now the image you can see on screen now like I said it's quite hard to make out exactly what it is but we can speculate for sure that's what we do people. So what can we see here? Now we know for sure it states chart of exploration and we can see what looks to be kind of like an orbit view of a set amount of planets. Maybe these planets we're able to explore. Maybe that's what they're there for. We saw at the end of the original trailer from E3 like a portal kind of thing which takes us I believe to different planets. Was this confirmed? I kind of remember it being confirmed that there will be multiple planets. This adds to that speculation, it really does. Now what's most interesting about this is the kind of nod things on the right here. Now I'm guessing they are nodes but they could be or mean anything but because they are showcased next to what we believe here is a orbit view of said planets we are able to explore these could be a certain number of activities we have to do within a set planet now we know the game for sure is a loot to shooter we know we can explore things we know we are javelins who are able to customize our players beyond what we've seen elsewhere what if these node things we see here are set activities within each planet, offering sources of new customization for our individual characters? What if these are paths leading us to an end game? What if these nodes are set missions and quest lines for each individual planet we do get to explore? I mean, we can keep going and keep going. These nodes could be anything, but they definitely do with part of the game. And because like I said, we've got this planetary orbit view, it must be something to do with said planets. So yeah, even though we don't know what this image means and what these items portray, we know they have something to do with the core game. Problem is from this image it's hard to speculate and even though we do speculate, it's still speculation meaning we are kind of guessing as to what this is or what it means for us as Anthem fans. I've tried my hardest to get this image looking a little more sharp so we can make out what these tiny little images might refer to but honestly I can't get it looking any better than the one we see on screen now. Now a few of the dudes who took part at this event have mentioned that news is coming pretty soon. That news you guys will obviously find here on my channel. So if you're new around here and Anthem is what you are interested in, be sure to subscribe. Anthem is definitely the way forward people and I do have high expectations for it. I mean as you guys know I'm a Destiny YouTuber so to speak. Destiny is my game at the moment, it is the game I play most and enjoy covering. But the moment I saw Anthem, I was hooked. It basically seemed to have the best parts of so many great games all rolled up into a single game. Yes, EA partly direct and create the game, and this to many seems problematic, but to me personally, I believe EA being the multi-million dollar company it is, have definitely learned to respect us first and deliver on our best interests. They tried to take the route of game development and making money with Star Wars Battlefront 2. The community wasn't having any of it, and cause an uproar. Something which led to Star Wars, although a great great game, becoming one of the worst rated games of the past few years. People search reviews of the game and they are spammed by reviews stating it's ruined by microtransactions. Even though EA seemed to have sorted the issue within the first week of the game's release, it still took a hold and in my opinion ruined the game as a whole. It could have been one of the best first person shooters of the past few years for sure. The game in my opinion is amazing. It's just been burdened with EA's mistake and greed and for this very reason I do believe Anthem will be a success. I don't believe they'd even try and incorporate a system as such even remotely similar to what we saw in Star Wars Battlefront 2. EA ain't stupid. I honestly don't believe they can make that same mistake again. Well let's hope not anyway. Anthem at the moment seems like a promising game. A game run by developers no doubt taking interest in the mistakes of other creators making games out there and being sure not to incorporate them into their game. And the mistakes being made by certain game developers are pretty big too. Anthem could indeed be a game which brings back hope to console games. And for that very reason I am super hyped for it. The game seemingly looks promising. And what we've seen so far leaves me with high expectations. 
I pray and hope and from an EA and Bioware deliver. And on that note guys, I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this image down below within that comment section. Let me know what you think it could be. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I'll see you on that next one.